MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. I'm with Clemens here uh, at Heimbuch in Germany, and we're looking at the evolution of collets. I've got here what I would class as a traditional collet, and this is what I used to use in my uh, machining days. Heimbuch have moved on somewhat, and we've now, Clemens, got the clamping head. So can you tell us about it and what's good about it? Okay, so it um, was an improvement of the collet. So the requirement was make this collet more flexible. Okay. And the general idea then back in the end of the 70s was why don't we cut the collet into two parts, the clamping element, the clamping head, and the basic body. And uh, here I have a sample. This is uh, symbolizing the draw tube. Here is the basic body, and here is the clamping head. And with a changing fixture, I can remove the clamping head and yeah. exchange it for another diameter. So uh, especially back then for the multi-spindle machines where you needed two people to do the changeover for a lot of time, now only one person can do this. That's good. So it, it looks it looks much more practical uh, in terms of you know a hand, from a handling perspective. What about its performance when you actually are clamping apart? Um, the clamping performance of a collet. The biggest difference is here the segments they they move parallel, so they clamp on the complete clamping length of the clamping head. Um, a collet there the movement is more like um, more like what, how do you call the tool for clipping off something. I, I know what you mean, in, in Pin, practice. Pinches? Yeah, yeah, pinches. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the pressure on the front is more than the rear, yes. which is not so good for the precision. It's not so stable, is it? It's not such a stable environment from a clamping exactly. perspective. So now, but, but as a company, as a machinist, you can still buy sure. this type of uh, collet, sure. but more popular? I don't know if it's more popular. For Heimbuch, it's more popular. We sell yeah. more of the clamping heads than the collets. Yeah. Um, maybe also because here the contamination resistance is better. Okay. Because through the gaps, uh, over the time, more contamination can get, can get behind the chuck. Yeah, 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 I can see that as well. And, and then here, this is a, as an example of a, another clamping head. Um, you, you, you've got, that would be for more uh, sort of, for bar that's rougher, for example. <clears throat> that's the, the hexagon clamping head version. I would, without hesitation, recommend this for bar work yeah, because okay. it's much more rigid. Yeah, but I mean the internals as well, from the outside, from a he hexagon perspective, exactly. that gives you, uh, is it got better clamping properties from the fact that it's got the hexagon rather than the round? Yeah, in practical use, the clamping forces are higher. Yeah. Um, here, the hexagon makes it more resistant to contamination and uh, it also reduces vibration because I have a full surface contact. Contact, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if the surface contact across flats is, is yes. far greater exactly. than it is on the uh, diameter. <laughs> Thanks. That's okay, <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> well, I'll just help you out there. Brilliant. Clemens, it's been a really good uh, insight well, into the evolution of Collet, so thank you. For more videos, products, and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.